to use OpenAI within Page Generator Pro, you need to add your API key into the settings of the plugin. To do this, you can click on Settings, and then on the Integrations tab, you'll see a field for OpenAI API key. You can enter your key here. You'll get this from the OpenAI website. And then you can also select your model. Uh, the model that you'll use depends on the type of text and work you're doing, but for most people, we'd recommend the chat GPT model here. You can click on save and confirm that your API key is saved. You can use OpenAI to generate a list of terms for a keyword. To do this, you'll enter your keyword name, in this case, service. For the source, select OpenAI and then enter the topic that this keyword relates to. So we'll use the example here, bathroom plumbing services and I'll then define a limit, and this is the number of terms that I want to return, so we'll do 10. You can select a language, click on save, and after a few moments, we'll get a list of possible terms for our keyword. You can edit these if you're not happy with them, if they don't fit with what you're doing, but we'll go with these for now. The next open AI features relate to the content groups. If we create a new content group and we'll use our service keyword that we created earlier, we've got a couple of options here uh, in terms of using OpenAI. The first is the OpenAI dynamic element. And if you click on the plus sign, search for OpenAI, click on this button here and you'll see this OpenAI dynamic element on screen. What this element does is returns text based on the configuration that we give this particular dynamic element. So for example, if I'm writing about my service, I could have some introductory text, uh, for example, what is service? And you can use keywords here. So for every page that's generated, this keyword will be replaced by one of those terms, whether it's bathroom, plumbing, toilet fixes, etc. For the content type, we've got a few predefined types. Article is the main one that most people will use. That will produce a few paragraphs worth of content with some headings based on the topic that we've entered. We've also got some FAQs, freeform prompts and paragraphs. We'll go through those in a moment. The limit is a recommended limit for the length of the content. Now OpenAI may go over or under this slightly, to make certain that the content makes sense. It won't use this as a hard limit because if you do so, you may find that the content doesn't always make sense. And again, we've got the option, we can select any language. If you are doing this in a non-English language, we do still recommend that the topic be in English. We find that tends to produce better results. So if we publish our content group, we'll then click on the content group tab and let's go ahead and run a test to see what the outcome is. The test will take anywhere between 15 and 30 seconds to produce, and that's because the dynamic element has to go and query OpenAI with the information that we've provided, and OpenAI will then return the content that we see here. So our service is toilet repair, and you can see that OpenAI has taken our prompt, and let's remind ourselves of that prompt for a moment. So the topic was what is service, so what is toilet repair? And you'll see that OpenAI has returned some content telling us what is toilet repair, why do we need it, et cetera, et cetera. Another really cool feature of the OpenAI dynamic element is that we can ask it to produce a list of frequently asked questions. For example, if we're going back to our service keyword, we could have this be a list of questions and answers about how to find the best service company. The limit will be the number of questions and answers that you want, so we'll go with three. Again, we'll do this in English. We'll click update and then click on the content group tab and we'll produce another test. And once we've generated our test post, we can see here, this is our pages title and then from this part here, this is what OpenAI has produced. So it says frequently asked questions, 
and it's got a question and answer, question and answer, and a third Q&A there. Another advantage of using the FAQ is that it will return schema for an FAQ page. Now, if you ever go onto Google and search for something and ask it a question, you'll notice this area here where people also ask similar questions and if you expand them, you get some answers. Google uses the FAQ schema to populate this box here. Now there's no guarantee that your results will appear on Google here, but having this schema helps. We could also use OpenAI to produce smaller pieces of content. For example, I may want to have a short paragraph of perhaps up to 150 words on how to find the best company. And again, we'll do a quick test of that to demonstrate how it looks. So again, we can see here that OpenAI has returned a single paragraph answering that question that we posed it based on the keyword that we've used. The final content type in the OpenAI dynamic element is the freeform prompt. If you select this content type, your topic becomes the entire prompt, similar to how you might interact with ChatGPT, where you have to provide all of the instructions. The limit and language options are ignored, and so your topic would detail what you want from OpenAI. For example, I want it to create me an article about our service. Create a 250 word article about service using H2 and paragraph tags. The tone should be informal and written in English. We'll click update, go to our content group and perform a test to observe the results. We can see the OpenAI result here where it's generated the content as requested with some headings and paragraphs and we can see it's quite an informal tone compared to our previous examples. Another freeform prompt example might be that I want to produce a list of common issues in bathrooms. So I will prompt OpenAI, write an unordered HTML list of common bathroom plumbing issues. We'll keep this simple for the purpose of this test. Once again, we'll click on test and we'll observe the test results. And we can see we have an unordered list of common bathroom plumbing issues as we requested from OpenAI. Using the classic editor in WordPress, you will find the OpenAI dynamic element button here. And the instructions are similar to the ones that we showed you for the block editor. So you can enter your topic, including a keyword, the content type, limit and language. Clicking insert will generate a short code and this short code will be rendered into that content at the point that we test or generate the page. If we look at our test result, we can see here we've got our content from OpenAI, how to find the best toilet repair service with its headings and paragraphs again.